My name is Zhang Zheng, and today I'm presenting to you my term project for the course 15112 Fundamentals of Programming and Computer Science. My term project is titled RNA Microscopic Image Analysis. It is an image analysis tool that helps biology and biochemistry researchers to better utilize their microscopic images of RNA molecules. So one of the most important problems encountered by many researchers is that they cannot accurately and clearly identify single RNA molecules on a microscopic image. And today, I will now show you how to use my program to achieve that goal. So first, we can choose a microscopic image of RNA molecules. Now it's very important to differentiate those uh, background noise and those conjugated RNA molecules like these from the single RNA molecule that we want. Then how do we do that? Now we can see a scale of molecule size from 0 to 10. And what does that mean? Well, well for instance, 3 means there are 3 by 3, which is 9 pixels connected together to qualify for a single molecule. And now we have a size range of 1 pixel to accommodate any uncertainty errors. Thus, size 3 means that the spots on the image with uh, 8 to 10 pixels qualify for a single molecule. Um, because too small a spot may be a noise like this, and too big a spot may be like multiple con um, molecules conjugated together like this. So now we set the molecule size to be 3. And then we need to set another parameter, the intensity threshold. So typically, the intensity threshold is from 80 to 120. And now we can set a threshold, say, 82. To eliminate all those uh, background noise with intensity less than 82, then we can start processing. Here you go. Now we can see those. There are some spots on the processed image being highlighted, and those are the spots. Uh, we want, and those are the single RNA molecules. And in total, there are seven RNA molecules, and their average intensity is 107. And now we can do some advanced processing by circling and numbering those RNA molecules. So we check the box circle and number. We start processing again. It thinks for a while. There you go. Then we can see there the seven single RNA molecules are clearly labeled and circled. Um, then we can also do some background noise reduction by uh, converting this image into grayscale. Then we check the box grayscale. We start again. It thinks for a while. There you go. So we can see those single RNA molecules are more clearly identified from this image. If we move our mouse to one of the uh, single RNA molecules, we can see the molecules are highlighted. And if we right click that molecule, we can see its location on the image, which is different from the mouse location and its area and is intensity. Thank you for watching.